We're so excited today yeah. here at yep. the Jan family. Yeah. Why are we so excited, Jaden? Because um, we're going to do a video of people um, people saving monkeys. People saving monkeys. Yeah. And who's your favorite god? Lord Hanuman. Mm -hmm. So now introduce yourself. My name is JD. And I'm actually Hum Achen Hey, Kai Say Hey. Yes. And hope you guys are having a great day. And today we're going to be doing Farmers Rescue a Child Lingur from a Net in a Farm and Return It to Its Mom. Aww. Yeah. A baby monkey. A baby monkey. I know. Maybe it jumped really high in it. Maybe I don't there was know. a hole in the net. Maybe there's a hole in the net. We'll have to see. Yeah. But it, at least there's, it sounds like a happy ending, right? Yeah. So we did one where. Um, Badri Narayan Badra um, mm. was feeding the monkeys, right? Yeah. In front of, I think it was a temple. And uh, it was really cute. And yeah. then she got to hold the baby monkey from yeah. the mom. So but it's the really mom, cute. May, maybe the mom wanted to look for more peanuts. Right. And so if you guys haven't seen that one, you know, we already did that one. It was just so adorable. Yeah. She's amazing. Um, you know, just so cute. And then she yeah. got to hold the mommy monkey. So um, this one was sent to us. And this one sounds like it has a wonderful ending. Some of our stories don't always. And Angie and I yeah. cry. But nope. this one has a happy ending. So yeah. let's start it up. Ready yeah. to see yes. it, Jaden? Are yeah. you so excited? Yeah. 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 Yay. Yay. Oh, Yay. Like you can see his arms so twisted in it. Oh, oh yeah, I just yeah, they're, like, they're they all getting that? together.
I mean, just my heart favorite touching. part. Oh my god, yeah. was when the mommy comes and, and the baby just runs up and, and they hug, like, hug each other, and yeah. then she runs away with them. Oh, so cute, <laughs> right? Yeah. So sweet. That was so nice of the yeah. farmers. Yeah, you know they had. I was really worried with that knife thing that they were cutting oh, yeah. so close yeah. to the baby, but they were so slow and careful, and mm-hmm. poor baby was crying, but it yeah. didn't really know what was going what on. What was yeah. going on, yeah. yeah. What was your favorite part, Jada? My favorite part is um when he was holding that him or her and he was he was a little bit maybe crying Mm -hmm. he ran away because maybe he wanted to get to her mommy right but he was so or she was so cute Mm -hmm. i think they were trying to make sure that the mommy was coming that not like any monkey that it wasn't gonna go the wrong way like they kind of waited for the monkey mommy come closer yeah Yeah. i think and make sure that that went with the right mommy with the right baby and the right mommy Mm -hmm. but it was so yeah so sweet and oh so touching yeah And it's so nice, the farmers, you know, the monkeys had, like, their own space a little bit, and I'm sure they were trying to keep the monkeys out from From eating eating their their crops. So it's one of those, like, it's a hard balance, you know. They Mm -hmm. don't probably want all the monkeys in to eat their crops because they need to make a living, but at the same time, you know, as more people come and and need more land to make food, you know, we kind of encroach on the environment a little bit, um, you know, and I feel like in India, especially there is such a passion for the animals, such a connection with the animals, um, you know, with nature, which is wonderful. And Mm -hmm. I think the West can learn a huge amount from it, but I think that's it. Like as on their environment a little bit, people still seem to stop and save the animals or stop, you know, whereas here, you don't see it quite so often. You do see it, but no. I feel like there's so many cars yeah. and so much traffic here that when you see an animal on the side of the road, unfortunately, it's already dead because it was hit by the car. Um, so there isn't always a saving time in between, um, yeah. you know, more big city where we live anyways. And you and you guys probably have mm-hmm. some of that too in the bigger cities. But I feel like in the farm areas, you know, you try not to... I feel like you just, it's such a, such a one with nature and trying not to encroach too much or know that you're in their space mm-hmm. a little bit and trying to live peacefully with the animals. Yeah. I feel like that's such a huge thing in India. Yeah. Whereas here, you know, it's either hunting season or you, you know, the animals like most people have are dogs and cats that live yeah. in their house. Or, yeah. you know, the, the pets, I mean, the farm animals, most of them are food on the table for a lot of people um, yeah. that mm-hmm. eat meat. And so it's, you know, a completely different culture. Um, yeah. I think that's one way we need to kind of learn from from India is, yeah. you know, being a little bit more one with the environment, one with nature and, and not encroaching so much of our space, our stuff into them and learning from them right yeah so so this reminds me of the time when daddy and me were coming home from like party supplies getting party supplies and he got hit by the deer and most people would say are you guys okay or is the car okay the first thing i said was is the deer okay yeah 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 so the the deer technically hit the car yeah um we waited for the deer Well, Dottie didn't see the deer. Unfortunately, at the time of year, certain times of year, they come out more than others. Yeah. And and at dusk and dawn, so it was like just past getting dark, and Mm -hmm. he was driving kind of on a main road. And it literally came from the side, so he couldn't see it, and hit the side of his car, slid across the car and onto the ground, and he stopped... um, to make sure the deer was okay too. And the deer got up and ran off into the woods. Um, Unfortunately, I'm sure it didn't survive that. Yeah. Um, But got up and ran away, so couldn't really help the deer. 
he his car door he pulled into a church parking lot and he couldn't open the car door yeah. um, to get out but Anjali and my husband were fine um, the car needed a lot of fixing because the deers are pretty big but it was yeah. a little bit shocking mm -hmm. you know we hear stories about you know deers coming out but um, kind of where we were at the time. It wasn't a place where you would kind of expect it. To be um, there. Yeah. So there are certain spots where there's a lot more woods and a lot more trees. And, and you would expect deer yeah, to be there. We were near like a shopping center, so it wasn't really a place where you would have, have expected it. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, this is kind of where, you know, like cities and people encroaching into the animal spaces and, you mm -hmm. know, I think they're losing the battle more. Yeah. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, you know, here the animals that we see most of the time are ones that are people's pets or in the zoo. It's exciting. I mean, when we take the kids outside, like, it's exciting for me to watch when we do see a deer in the family. Like, when we go to the park. Yeah, we always we are like, the oh my God, the there's a deer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then Daddy tells us stories of, you know, how monkeys, you know, lived in the Roam town. Around. You know, he had. Um, you know, tigers and jaguars Scary. nearby. You know, there were a lot more animals as part of the area that he grew up with and saw. And, and you know, it's one of those things that every, you know, we really need to learn a lot from India in that yeah. respect. You know, being a little mm -hmm. bit more at one with nature, a little bit more, um, you know, respectful of the animals as much as they are of the people. I feel like here, you know, we have animals, but I feel like we almost treat them like animals still. Yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, whereas in India, I feel like... They treat them more as people? kids. More as kids or like a more equal, their little own. bit more family-like. Yeah. And, um, yeah. So, got a lot to learn, right? So, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't so cute. And don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. Just more like it when I can share some videos. And subscribe and join our wonderful family. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye.